My name is H.A. Goodman, and I'm an author, columnist, and journalist. And to read my writing and to see my latest CNN appearances and my MSNBC appearances, you can go to hagoodman.com. There's a USA Today article out. Bernie or bus backers to flock to Philly to protest. Okay, so... The city of Philadelphia is projecting 35,000 to 50,000 demonstrators will gather at half, half a dozen sanctioned protest sites near the Wells Fargo Center each day of the convention, which opens Monday. So there's going to be up to 50,000 demonstrators in Philadelphia. And I want to say to everybody who's Bernie or Bust, because I'm Bernie or Bust and Dr. Jill Stein. So if Bernie doesn't, is, doesn't become the nominee, and it's Hillary Clinton at the Democratic Convention, I am going to vote for Dr. Jill Stein of the Green Party, who's an amazing woman. But I have a message to every demonstrator or protester. I want you to be safe, 100% peaceful, and realize something. One of the reasons I'm not going to Philadelphia is because I'd be a target. I'd be a target of reporters. I'd be a target of... Uh, the Democratic, the DNC, or the Hillary campaign, you can just type in my name. There's like seven hit pieces on me. Two reporters from the Daily Beast targeted me, and one wrote a hit piece. The other one um, emailed me out of the blue. It was very kind via the email. I emailed him a rejection, and actually he printed that as a quote of mine. (laughs) And then on Twitter, when I confronted him, he said, well, that's what you were willing to offer. I was never willing to offer anything to this person. But he printed it anyway. That's not journalism. Okay, that's tabloid. That's what a tabloid does. Or that's what um, a political operative does to silence others. So what, what I'm trying to say, and there's other examples, too, that I've dealt with. But when you are at, when you're, when you're in Philadelphia... And you're protesting. And whether it's a speech or whether it's a demonstration, there was already six protesters at the Democratic Convention, uh, according to Politico, who were arrested the other day. Be careful. When I say be careful, understand that in Nevada, just picking up a chair, not even throwing the chair, already painted millions and millions of Bernie Sanders supporters as chair-throwing lunatics. That's not the person, that's not the fault of the person who was upset and picked up that chair because he put it down. He picked it, he, he put the chair down. And there's a photo of Barbara Boxer. It looks like she's giving the crowd the middle finger. And so in the way that Barbara Boxer acted, she did not fear for her safety. Okay. Uh, she said she did, of course. And then the media played that up. Then there was a, a reporter um, in Las Vegas who perpetrated, who furthered the myth that there was this tremendous violence. And of course, if you look at the photo, there's, law, there's, a, there's a, a, a line of law enforcement uh, uh, of officers, and they're not, they're just standing. So if there's this immense violence in Nevada, you wouldn't have a, a bunch of officers just standing in a row. Okay, they'd actually be using their batons, or they'd be arresting people that did not happen. My point is this. Number one, stay safe. Number two, stay peaceful at all times, meaning... If you see a situation where you're angry, you're frustrated, or let's say um, you have the right to be there to speak, or you have the right to be there to protest, but police say, hey, get out of this location, just do it, just go. Um, Or, you know, essentially what I'm saying is, remember, whatever you have to do, remember that you're going to be the target of media. Remember, you're going to be the target of the Democratic National Committee of Hillary Clinton. And when I say the target, I mean the public relations target. They're going to try to paint you as the other. They're going to try to marginalize your message. And they're going to try to use you, perhaps, to ensure that more Bernie Sanders voters vote for Clinton in some bizarre way. They could probably do that. So... Just, first and foremost, stay safe. If there's any hint of something violent or something that's not safe, remove yourself away from that and just focus on personal safety and focus on, you know, abiding by whatever law enforcement says. 
uh, without it escalating. But remember also that you are going to be, your message will be manipulated by the same public relations firms that claim to be journal, journalists, uh, the same PR people that claim to be journalists, the same tabloids that claim to be fair and balanced, or and that's what Fox uses, but the left has their own examples of Fox as well. This whole Democratic primary has been about getting Hillary Clinton to this point. Right now, your, I guess, your message is burning your bust. Obviously, that's my message too. In, adi in addition to uh, voting for Dr. Jill Stein, if it's officially Hillary Clinton, a Democratic uh, convention. But I guess what I'm saying is, don't let the media manipulate your message by either violence or or a situation where Bernie, the Bernie or bust message, which is a noble message, which is something that I have written about and worked for over a year on. Uh, well, Bernie Sanders winning was my main goal. Now, Bernie or bust and Dr. Jill Stein of the Green Party making a powerful statement, voting for value and principle as opposed to lesser evil politics. But I know I'm rambling and I'm not, I'm trying to basically say, keep safe. Remember that you are going to be a target of the media. Remember that you are going to be, there's going to be people out there, whether it's, uh, it could be a reporter, it could be a news, news agency, it could be a publication. And if there's violence and if there's something that they could manipulate, your message will be turned into vote for Hillary. Uh, you know, Clinton was right. Uh, the Democratic Party, uh, you know, look at these look at these people who are completely on the fringe. Just remember, they're going to try to manipulate you and your message and understand that and stay safe and remain peaceful at all times. Remember, a person picking up a chair in Nevada, that was seen as rioting to the Democratic establishment. So you can just imagine what they're going to try to do during the Democratic convention. There's 50,000 people. So the USA Today article st states, City of Philadelphia is projecting 35,000 to 50,000 demonstrators will gather at half a dozen sanctioned protest sites near Wells Fargo. Also be careful in terms of the number of people around you. You want to be able to know uh, if, God forbid, there is, there, there's a problem. You need to know how to get to a safe area. Um, and, and find out the best way to convey your message without any risk of violence or it, it being uh, manipulated by the same media that did everything possible to elect Hillary Clinton, even though there was election fraud, um, and even though she was barely escaped FBI criminal indictments. Um, what can I tell you other than I respect you for what you're doing, and you know, I just want you to be safe and if you enjoy my writing or my advocacy for the past year for Bernie Sanders and now for Dr. Jill Stein, or if you watch this channel and you'll be going to Philadelphia, or if you've read my work and you'll be going to the Democratic Convention, just focus on staying safe. Focus on always remaining just safe, peaceful, um, always shying away from any type of violent um, interaction. If law enforcement says, hey, move away from here or, you know, accept, accept that and, you know, work very peacefully with, with law enforcement. And always remember that safety, your safety comes first. Your message is also very important, but your safety is first. Your message is extremely important. It comes second to your safety. But your message, remember also, 
The third thing is that it will be, it, they will try to manipulate your message in some way. Keep an eye out for that. The Democratic Party, Hillary Clinton, the same publications that have targeted me will then target you. Um, and the same people who have tried to marginalize me will try to marginalize you. Don't fall into their hands. Don't fall into their kind of agenda. And uh, what can I tell you? God bless you. Be safe. And um, we'll see uh, this. I'm hoping that Bernie takes it at the Democratic convention. If he doesn't, it's Hillary Clinton. Um, there's Dr. Jill Stein. There's Bernie or Bust. And uh, just stay safe and peaceful and Remember, never, ever, ever to allow your message to be manipulated by others. Thank you so much for listening. Be safe.